Hey guys, it's Aran back and I'm bringing you a brand new Ball Stars video and in this video I'll be giving you tips along with the best gameplay on how to push Pam to rank 30 inside of solo showdown only. So I've already made a video on other brawlers and how to push them to rank 30 or 1000 trophies inside of solo showdown only along with the best tips of course and you can check them in the pinned comment or in the description down below. Also I've already made a highlights video for Pam showcasing my journey to 1k trophies and that will also be linked in the pinned comment and the description down below be sure to check that one out. Before we begin the tips I would like you to subscribe to the channel and like this video and comment down below if you have any doubts I'll be sure to help you out there so let's get right on to the gameplay so jumping on to the first game my first tip for pushing Pam is the right maps um, basically all maps are good for Pam except for the ones that are too bushy or too campy like feast of famine but basically all maps are good for Pam long range mid range and even short range maps are pretty good for Pam so you can play her in all of those maps and with the new update there has been a lot of map changes and you can ask me in the comments for the maps and I'll comment down below to your request and I'll give you the best maps to push Pam right now and uh, as you'll see here my second tip will be to actually maintain distance so maintaining distance is pretty important for Pam she can be disastrous close range but if you maintain distance no one can touch you as I'm speeding up this clip right here and you'll see how I'm maintaining distance all throughout this game and by maintaining distance from your opponents you can deal maximum damage while they are able to deal a lot less damage so in this clip I'm just keeping my distance and there has been a lot of teaming and more on that soon so I've made friends with the Pam and I see this Leon go invisible and kill him easily and I'm just gonna pick off all the other brawlers right now the crew is gonna jump on the Pam and I'm gonna capitalize and get the pretty easy win right here and on to the next match this is a pretty good example on how to play a map on campy maps like this this is eggshell and it's basically a short range map so I'm just gonna attack the Leon once and he's gonna run away and my next step with Pam is pretty simple is that she can destroy boxes in literally two hits so go out there and collect as many cubes as you can in the starting it's one of the best things to do with Pam you can two shot boxes and one of the biggest caveats with Pam as with all brawlers you can't reload while you're actually shooting and this brings me to my next tip is you have to manage your ammo with Pam even though she has a decent reload speed because while you're spamming all three attacks you will not have your fourth attack and you have to ensure that you can kill your target in three attacks which brings me to my biggest tip with Pam is teaming with the proper teaming you can actually get rank 35 pretty easily with Pam and with the teaming there's one sort of problem is to decide who you want to team up with Pam is actually one of the meta brawlers inside of solo showdown and if you get another Pam that's an easy kill and after the recent balance changes 8-bit is pretty weak and they can't use extra life anymore so teaming with 8-bits is also pretty nice but as you're gonna see here I'm gonna team with a bunch of people and betray them basically at the end and I'm just gonna speed up the spot and wait for the Leon to jump over and the Leon is finally gonna jump over gonna kill him easily and now it's basically a slugfest because all of them start betraying I help out and I'm just gonna bam we bam him and kill him easily and that's gonna be a pretty easy win for me and jumping on to the next game and my next step is gonna be the star power and the gadget that you have to use for Pam. So the first star power is pretty nice and it can provide healing while you're shooting and hitting the shots on the enemy. It is especially useful against scrolls whose poison damage you have to deal with. And for the gadget it's pretty important to use the gadget at the right time with the turret. As you saw in the last match I uh, used my gadget to actually defeat the Pam. It can provide you extra healing while you're in the turret so that is pretty useful actually 
Which brings me on to my next tip is to recharge your super as soon as you can because the super of Pam is basically invaluable just because of the healing that she gets with a gadget and a super. So once you're done with opening some boxes and the starting, go and charge up your super on other enemies and it can be pretty useful. I'm gonna try and charge my super here on Sandy. Just gonna put a few hits in and again here I'm just trying to maintain distance try to keep charging my super by chipping some damage and as you will see here there's pretty big teaming going on right here Pam, Diana and a bow even a surge so I'm just gonna shoot at them which is gonna cause them to panic and kill each other and the sandy is gonna actually collect some cubes here so I'm just gonna shoot the sandy a bit use my turret to actually save myself you should hold on to your super which is a pretty important tip and as soon as you get attacked you use your turret there is actually no use of putting the turret in first when you're not fighting because then you're just gonna get targeted so now i'm gonna fight off the scroll and use my turret again to save myself and it's gonna reset the encounter right here and i'm just gonna be patient here wait for the zone to cross in I've got more healing so I'm just gonna go here and put my turret in again save myself and that's basically gonna get me the win here pretty close one but I get it and I'm gonna now show you the final two games of my push to rank 30 and as you're gonna see here I'm playing it on a map with robots and this is actually one of the best tips for Pan you should play her on maps with the robot spawns just because you can melt down robots so easily Pam has actually one of the highest DPS in the game and the amount of damage which she deals with one attack is actually ridiculous and with Pam I'm just gonna circle on the outside and actually I'm gonna team in this match just because I'm so close to my goal at 1k and you're gonna see the perfect example of how Pam actually shreds robots so I'm just gonna spam 3 attacks and that's basically 10k damage on the robot even at no power cubes and the bow is gonna help me out I'm gonna pick up the cubes right here and the bow is actually teaming with me right now but I actually try to betray the people as soon as we get on those tense situations at top 5 and the circle is going to get small because in a large circle even if your teammate tries to betray you first you can actually kill him because you can create some distance but as soon as the gas closes in then you gotta start betraying the people then you can't think about teaming so I'm just gonna target this BB here you can easily target tanks to get your super so I'm gonna hold the ground keep shooting at BB that's gonna get me closer to my super and the BB is gonna rush the gale I'm just gonna help out with this robot and the bow takes it away from me a little bit and he's gonna come back in he's gonna try and betray me and as soon as I see that I go on the attack mode and now it's no time for teaming and I'm actually gonna try and kill so this footage is before pre-patch and surge was quite strong right here so now with surge actually nerfed you don't need to worry about anything Pam is one of the best brawlers inside of solo showdown right now and I'm just gonna try and target the cow a little bit I'm at the highest number of cubes right now I've held on to my super and that's how you prepare for the end game with Pam easily gonna kill the scale and the Carl basically just gives up he knows he can't defeat a Pam right now and he tries to spin away I'm just gonna try and kill him and that's gonna be an easy win that's plus 8 trophies for us so on to the final game right here I'm at 996 trophies and the situation is pretty tense I'm just gonna start off by opening some boxes too short as I said right here and I'm gonna keep all those tips in mind and I'm gonna try and get this win easily again just a quick disclaimer you can ask me anything in the comments and I do have a club which you can join and there's a community that's gonna help you out push your brawlers so talking about the game right here, I'm gonna try and team with Poco and I'm just gonna move forward a little bit 
try and follow me around, check what's the surrounding and etc. And the surge is pretty powerful as I see here. I'm, I'm with two cubes which is actually fine. It's not bad. So again with Pam I'm just gonna try and maintain distance at all times. Try and chip in the surge, get the super. It's rinse and repeat with Pam. She's one of the easiest brawlers to play inside of solo showdown. I'm just gonna stand right here. Try and hold my ground. I see the robot coming in. And a pretty helpful tip when you're playing this mode. Sometimes it's just better to let the robot target someone else in the beginning. And that's gonna give you a pretty low health robot. And gonna let you try and capitalize. So I'm just gonna now kill this robot pretty easily. Because he was already like half dead. I'm just gonna circle around again. And I'm gonna collect the power cubes. Another thing to remember is sometimes just give one cube to a weak brawler and actually you're gonna gain the trust of that brawler and he's not gonna betray you unless it's a top 5 situation as I just told you before. As you had seen I just gave him one cube to Poco and the Pam's actually gonna die because of the dynamite and I'm gonna go for a sick play right here, kill the dynamite by jumping and it was pretty nice kill and Seeing the cube difference, I'm easily gonna get this win and get the 1k Pam. So that's it for the video guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below if you have any queries, I'll answer them. And I'll keep up with the content, stay tuned, peace out.